Hello, thank you for watching Dexter's Amplifier Repair. Um, this is one of a project, it's not amp related. This is some of the other stuff that I do. Um, while I'm not, while I don't have an amplifier to work on, uh, some things of my own personal interest that I work on. Uh, what you're looking at right here, this is a uh, seven segment and it's four number display. And right now I got it set to counting down. Uh, this thing is multiplexed and what multiplexed is is that you probably will be able to see it in the camera but to the human eye it looks like all those uh, numbers are on at the same time and in fact if you this is a project that was done by by the username uh, K Dara1234. I watched one of his videos on multiplexing and he left some code to upload it and he made one with uh, he ordered one from SparkFun. These these sub these came out of a cable box that is no you can't use them anymore so I pretty much scrapped it for parts. Put it together and this is a common anode display meaning that all the anodes are tied together but I also multiplex the two and I have on here too I have a, the shift register on here which holds the code on there that's coming from the microcontroller this is a 74 HCT 595 shift register and then I have a 4511 on here to uh, BCD to seven segment display. I have eight different transistors on here to control um, the current that's on here with current limiting resistors to the base of the transistors and going to the collectors. And on top, I have the anode transistors, which are which supplies positive voltage to. Uh, each one of those segments on here and I had wired up a 7805 to turn out it was bad on here I wanted to make make a put my own power supply on this and put it together eventually I want to take the microcontroller and put it on uh, this board once I I wanted to turn this into a clock I'm still critiquing the code on it uh, one of the problems that I'm running into with this code is you can't put a delay in here because it'll flash through. If you put a one second delay on it, it'll flash through the first three numbers and then it'll stay stuck on the last the last number. So I'm working on some different code that will allow me to do that. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking of is a do, uh, do while statement in this code. And it's it's running off the Arduino, and it's the code is available from K K Dara one two three four. If you put him in the uh, search, you should be able to find you should be able to find his video online. I watch a lot of his videos. He actually watched watched a lot of his videos on programming microcontrollers. I never. I never understood him until I was watching. I've been watching his videos for a few years now, and I decided to do one of do one of his projects that he's done. Um, on the back here of this board, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this around. Uh, actually, this um, I had to wire this up myself on the back because I didn't have uh, because he used the one from SparkFun. Which already tied the uh, tied all the segments together of the cathodes, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I tied them, I tied all those together on the back with myself. I used the Allen wire, and then ran them to these transistors, and then I have wired it up here. I know it's kind of interesting wiring. I have some leftover enamel wire 
that I used for a project a long time ago and don't have a use for it at the moment so I decided to use it for this project uh, the board I picked up from Radio Shack I uh, had a lot of these parts I think I had to pick up the 4511 I didn't have that and the rest of them I, the rest of these parts I had got a uh, 0 0.01 uh, microfarad disc ceramic capacitor in there to do the to do some filtering in there uh, you can do some really cool things with microcontrollers in general there's there's a lot of different projects that you can do there is if you want to learn about digital if you want to learn about programming there's all kinds of information on the web uh, how to do this stuff uh, this is it's pretty simple uh, this is some, like I said, this is some of the stuff that I like to do when I'm not, um, when I don't have a customer amp to work on. Uh, keep watching my videos. I'll be posting more up here. And if you have any questions or you have any comments, please post them below. Once again, my shop is Dexter's Amplifier Repair. I do services on guitar amps, I do PA mixers, all kinds of stuff with electronics. Uh, if you're interested in doing any lighting uh, with LEDs, I can I can do that too. Thanks for watching.